Today we're going to be creating this rain effect on our screen as you can see. Now this is not useful for every circumstance but it's going to be useful for a lot of the circumstances. So we're going to go ahead and get straight into that and you can also subscribe to this channel if you want to get weekly tutorials on the Blender Game Engine. So let's get into it. So we're going to be creating a new rain image so it's going to be a height of 200 pixels and a width of 200 pixels and it's also going to be a transparent background. So once it's all done click OK and as you can see now we are back uh, where we want to be. So to do this you want to make sure you're using the brush tool and you're just going to click and then hold shift and then click again and then it's going to create this nice straight line which you can use as a raindrop and also over the side you can see I have the size about uh, 7 which is a great size for what we're doing you can have a different size you can need a different size if your uh, thing is a different resolution but this works great for what I'm doing and it looks good so we can go ahead and export this now so we can come up to file and then you want to go ahead and um, come come up to file and come down to export as and we're going to call this um, make sure it's on desktop call it rain so once you've done that what you want to go ahead and do is come down to export so export and click export and click OK so now it's exported and we have our rain so let's come here and create new and it's going to be 200 by 200 and this is going to be our other one so we're going to go into filters render clouds and then the top one and we also want to make sure that this is tileable um, and it's got a detail of three or whatever yeah, it's not really necessary but it, it's, it, it works all right so let's go ahead and get uh, go ahead and export this and then once you've exported it we'll be in here in blender so we're going to go ahead now that we're in blender and create a new scene so we're going to create a new one and going to call this overlay all right so now we have an overlay scene so let's go ahead and add a plane so this is going to be our rain uh, kind of thing that the rain is we're going to spawn so we want to come over here GLSL so you click uh, in T or N to open that panel I think and then we also want to enable transparency and change that alpha to zero and the intensity of the uh, specular off we can open a texture as well in the texture panel and now we've opened that we can come down to here and enable alpha and then we want to go U uh, in edit mode U and I'm just going to go reset because it's a plane so it will work fine now so we can click shadeless and change this to a nice blue color if we like and we can also come across here and turn the alpha down so you can see stuff behind it and it's not fully a color so I also want to add a new world texture and I just scale this up as well so uh, we can also call this rain if we like alright so there we go and we're going to move it to the layer below and now what we're going to do is add an empty and this empty is going to be adding our rain uh, so let's go ahead and add a camera and then we're going to move this camera up as well so that we can see uh, the, where the camera is and stuff so we're going to change this uh, timeline into a logic editor and we're going to add a uh, delay and we're going to change this to uh, 10 I believe I changed it a bit later but we're going to leave it there we could enable repeat and then we're going to connect that up and we are going to go ahead and select the rain object and as you can see it's kind of showing up at the top but uh, we want it to to fall down so it looks like it's falling down the screen so we're going to come to this layer to the rain and add it always and add a motion now we can go ahead and connect that up and we can change this to minus 0.4 on the Y and as you can see it works okay. So now if we just apply scale just make sure and we move this up out of the screen and as you can see now it's falling down, uh, doesn't look the best. We also want it to delete so let's change the time on the empty to something like 300 uh, or 30 works fine and that's just going to make sure that it doesn't fall infinitely and start lagging the game. Alright, so now that we've got that, we might want to go ahead and move these around. I also did duplicate them, but I did edit this a bit weird, so that's why you've got that. And we also want to change alpha a bit down on that um, that plane that we have. So you want to duplicate that and move them around, maybe scale up the range. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the, uh, the other plane. So this is going to be like the smoke you see. It's kind of a bit hard to see in the uh, thing, but it really does add a nice effect. And we're going to add it always to this and a motion. And it's going to go up on the 
Y and I see the wrong thing it's rotating we don't want that I want it to go up on the Z axis which is up in Blender if you did if you're not new to Blender um, if you're new to Blender sorry yeah you might need to know that so we're going to go ahead and open this and we're going to change this to the node editor and as you can see I have all these other ones those are just add-ons so don't worry about them you just want to go to this little material create a new material click use nodes and we can go ahead and import uh, camera data and then going to connect the view Z up to the all right so go ahead and add a converter math node and we're going to set this to divide and then you want the bottom value to be around about 30 so then we will have a right here I didn't do it quite correctly but we'll change that a little bit later so set that to 30 and that will give you a nice number now add a converter color ramp and then bring this main white color down and then create a new one of these and change that to black so as you can see here it goes from white to uh, from black to white to black again and then change the middle value to a darker color so it's not full transparent when we hook it into transparent value all right so we're going to connect that to alpha we're going to put a texture and we're going to connect that up and we're going to change that to a to a different texture but we also want to go ahead and add a input geometry and we want this to be UV and then we want to go ahead and select project from view and we want to go ahead and select a nice texture so let's go ahead and get a new texture as well that we created before so I'm going to go ahead and open that uh, open right so now you can see we have it so we should just be able to open it in the Thing right here so we can open it and what you'll see here is now we have that showing up it looks a bit weird and that is because of some problems we have so let's scale this up uh, so we also want to change this white to a bit lower so something like that so now uh, it's on it's the tr transparency is not going to be full color so uh, we only get a little bit of it showing through so we get this nice effect of smoke um, So turn that down a little bit as well, maybe until we get something we kind of want um, So everything looks good there We can go ahead and check that Come over here, and we can call this uh, smoke if we like so call this smoke and then we can go ahead and Go to move this to the layer uh, the layer down and we can add a empty and we can add a always a delay sorry and this is going to be set to 10 for now I might change that later and we'll add edit object and we're going to set this to smoke and then we're going to change this to 200 and as you can see now we've got it sh we've got it showing up but I think it shows up a bit too much uh, so we get that effect which is not the best so let's change this to something like uh, 40 repeat make sure it's on repeat and uh, we might want to change it again to something like a hundred right and leave repeat on um, so yep we can see some smoke coming through and that looks good um, Right, so there we go. We can come back to our other scene and we can come to our camera, add it always. Always. Uh, where is always? It is right at the top. Here we go. And then we're going to add a scene, um, a set overlay scene. Click this up, select overlay scene. And now we can press play. Make sure we're in the game. And as you can see, it looks weird. So what's the problem with this? Uh, it's in the wrong type of mode. So we're going to go GLSL and also go into textured mode. And now you can see it's showing up how it should be. And it looks quite nice. And I'm sure you can use this in the game if you added some mist and stuff. That would really help the whole aesthetic. And maybe Sound of Rain, which I did when I was testing this out. And it, it does really make it feel much nicer. And maybe uh, drops on the ground of water and stuff on your texture, which can look really cool with animated texture. But... There we go, if you want to see more tutorials like this and tutorials on other subjects, I come out with a new tutorial every single week. So go ahead and subscribe 
And also I have a question for you if you have been seeing my website. Uh, I don't really think it's been really helping the Blender community that much. So I thought that um, any any suggestions would be great on what I should do with it. Maybe like have downloads on there like templates uh, people can download because my website is a